Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome to uh, actually a new series of uh, Project Hospital. So the previous series was going so well and uh, I don't know what happened but for some reason I, I lost all the stuff that I did. I uh, I think because I, I, I'm not even sure what happened. But anyway, I'm, I'm enjoying it so much I'm definitely going to start a new one straight away because I just love it. I just absolutely love it. So. Um, what I'll do is I'm not since we kind of learned in the other one that this kind of road setup doesn't actually work the way um, we intend it to work. I thought I may just use one of these over here uh, instead, something like that, uh, like that setup over there. Okay, so we'll get straight into it, and uh, I'm going to try and do things a little bit quicker. Um, so one thing that I am going to do uh, this time around is going to plan it a little bit better. So the other one I felt we weren't planning well and the organic growth wasn't really working for us. But this time we will we will plan it a little bit better. And one thing I'm not sure whether it can actually work is if I can actually lay out stuff um, on on the um, on the tile. I cannot. So I have no way of actually planning this. <laughs> so what I thought I'm going to do here is I am going to oh I see you can clearly see where stuff is happening so what I'm going to do here is I am actually going to lay out wings um, and do try and do things fairly easily okay so if we're saying two from there and two from there ah uh, is it two two yeah so if we say two from there and two from here we've got 80 okay that's about the size that we will have, 80. So if we divide 80 by 2, that is 40. Plus we want to do, so what I want to do is I want to do a department there, a department there, a department there, and a department there, okay? And an entrance here, okay? And we'll do four blocks like that. But what I'll do is since we're starting with emergency, Emergency will be closest to this side and then we'll grow into general over here and then the other departments will go over on that side. What we will also probably do is start out with some x-ray stuff in emergency and then move them to their own department at a later stage. But what we ultimately want to do is we ultimately want eight departments. So that means if we're doing four departments per layer, that means a two level hospital. And I'm going to make better use of space. I'm going to make things bigger. So if we're saying 40, let's say that inner aisle will be, uh, what would it be? Like four or six or five, maybe the inner aisle. Uh, so we're going to have one inner aisle here. And I'm going to switch between departments for using that inner aisle. But maybe that should be a little bit wider. So if we do, say, 10... If we plan for 10, then we have 30 here, 30 for each of these, 30, 30, uh, actually no, 35, right? So we've got 80, if we take out 10, it's 70, so it's 35, 35, yep. So let's plan for 10, because I'm going to do put stuff like the, uh, the lifts and stuff in there. So it's probably better if we have 10, it would mean that you could still, well, you could still go around on both sides. 10 or is it 12? I don't know. Anyway, so what we'll do is I'll do 35 by, okay, and then there's, there's another plan that I want to do is, so let's say two from that side and I want to do uh, eight. Okay, oops, oops, oops. So I want to do eight plus four, 12 plus eight, 20. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. 8 plus 8 is 16, 12 is 20, so 20 by 35. Okay, so that is approximately what our department sizes are going to be like. Makes me wonder if, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to start in the back there. I know this guy is here. I'm going to start, uh, well, if we start in the back, we'll at least know what we're dealing with. So if we say, let's start over here, so two away, one, two, so that's two away and two away, right? So if we start there, 20, uh, actually even that doesn't work the way I want it to work. So it can actually go bigger. 
shall I do it a little bigger? So we do, because I'm not going to do specific waiting areas. So maybe if we do six, uh, six aisles instead, that's a little bit wider. Yeah, that might work better for us. So if we do then instead of 20, we're going to add and make it 22. Something, something like that, huh? Hmm. It's an, it stays an interesting one. I'm not too sure how we should start with it. But anyway, parking it over here is not too bad. Anyway, I'm going to start in the corner here. I think that's just better to do. Better practice. Okay, so let me say that. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to make a rush for um, a, a rush for the for the. So if we do 22, so we'll go a little wider. Yeah, let's just do let's just do the full department. Actually, not not do the full department. Let's start it off with half of it. So we're doing eight plus six, and that's going to give us fourteen. Eight plus six times thirty-five, something like that. Huh? Eight plus six, yeah. Eight plus six. Okay. That's it. So that's what we're going to do. So there's our start. This is our, our emergency setup. So now that we've got that in place, what I'll do is uh, now we'll start planning it out. So I'll show you what I'm what I'm intending on doing over here. So we're going to start off with a waiting room, which is ultimately going to be. Is that it? A six wide waiting room like that? Is that too wide? No, I think that's OK. I'd rather have nice and wide corridors. Well, if we do this instead, we can have 10. 10 wide on that side. Maybe 10 is a better option for us. So we'll we'll do 10 and 10, 20, 24. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. So let's start off with that. So what we're going to do. First things first, what I want to start with over here. We need bathrooms. We need... Um, actually, you know what? Is that just going to be a corridor instead? Guys, I'm uh, sorry. Sorry, I'm a little I'm a little all over the show. So if we do a four wide corridor and the corridor is kept clear, right? Um, and I'm almost tempted to do little enclaves in here because that seems very wide, to be honest. That's much wider than the stuff that I used to do here. So let's see. So if we then do a two wide waiting room. Or shall we start with a reception area? <laughs> I'm a little okay. Hang on, hang on. Okay, let's start. Let's get the stuff going first. Okay, so if we say four, four by nine. Honestly, is that what we add? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four. Uh, where did I start it? I'm sure. Oh, I started it one later. Uh, let's uh, let's go back and let's update and add that fifteen fourteen so how on earth did that not work why can't I do that X in interesting interesting okay well okay if we do I'm not, I'm not doing nine. I'm most certainly not doing nine. So hang on. Maybe we, what we do is I'm grabbing another one over here. Sorry guys. I'm, uh, I'm messing around. Okay. So that's where it's going to be. So we're going to have our door over here into our corridor. And I think four wide as a corridor is definitely wide enough. But what we could do is we could have uh, a little waiting area there. So we don't need, we don't need these, um, these doctor's offices to be too big. I think six by four. Yeah, I think six by four is a good size doctor's waiting room. Okay, and we're going to plan out. We're not going to build all of them, but I'll plan out a number of them. Then what we're going for is the stat lab. Okay, and that one could be a little bit bigger. 
So we've got the 10 space here, right? 10 by 4 is probably a good size there. And then this area will be the waiting room. Yeah, and we'll actually have the stat lab access on that side, okay? Then what, we, what are we going to do then? Then the next stuff, we need to un start unlocking stuff. But basically, we are... To be honest, I think what we'll do is we'll start doing the x-ray pieces in here. So then let me go to x-ray, and we're going to grab the x-ray room over here. And again, we'll actually add a slither of a waiting room, but it's not required for it to be too big. Because the extra waiting is a little is a little smaller. Ah, oh, you know what we need? We need bathrooms and a cleaning closet and stuff like that. So let's cancel that a little bit. Though I want the bathrooms to be not too far. Not Okay, so what we'll do, actually, what I'm going to do is let's cancel those two. Let's squeeze a restroom in here. That we could at some point in the future turn into an extra doctor's uh, extra doctor's uh... actually hang on cancel that uh, what I'll do is I'll start with a little cleaning closet and I'll have the cleaning closet in the um, where so if we do that's not great is it no, that'll actually... No, that won't work. That is okay. Because that'll allow us a pretty decent bathroom in there. It's not the biggest. But it'll allow us a pretty decent bathroom. So if we then do that, and now what we do is we do restrooms like so right so you can have two doors here yes excellent so that's what i'm going to do for a bathroom now i'm going to do the stat lab go back to emergency get the stat lab in place uh this one i want nice and big oh actually four like so excellent so there you go now we've got the corridor over there i think that's pretty good set up right there and i can ultimately change this into another doctor's office should i need one in the future, that's going to be a nice big stat lab. Um, and then I'm going to quickly move to x-rays. Something like that. Huh? We've got, we're left with 11. Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 11, 11 makes sense, actually, because we're on 35. So something like that, 6 by 8 and then 5 by 8, yeah. So we've got a little bit of room here and we've got a bit of a waiting area there as well. So I think that is kind of what I'm going for, like so, and we'll see what goes on this side. On this side, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do the, um, the the uh the emergency stuff alternatively what we do is we but I, the others i will swap around actually the others i will have the doctor's offices on the inside and the wards and the stuff on the outside this stuff is going to be a little bit different we're going to have that area all out like so okay so let's go back to the emergency and i've spent a whole lot of time doing a bit of a planning thing over here so let's grab the corridor corridor straight through like that um do I need a reception? I don't want to build a reception over here. Do we need an emergency reception, actually? You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that, and we're going to do a very basic small little reception over here. So waiting room, like so. Corridor uh, reception, uh, let's say like that. Okay, we'll do a basic reception over there, and then we're going to do corridor. Ah, oh, you know what we're missing? You know what we're missing is a staff room, a common room. And I want that to be pretty central as well, the common room. So what I'll do, I'm going to get rid of these two again and we're going to redo that. We're going to start off with a common room. And I think a nice large common room like that is probably a good idea. Five. Yeah, a nice big one. Then a stat lab. Okay, again a nice, yeah, that's pretty good. Again a nice big one. 
and then we'll do the x-ray let's grab me the x-ray the x-ray room and the x-ray is going to move ultimately right so the x-ray i'm going to do five by eight and have a small waiting room in there perfect so we'll grab this waiting room we'll slot that in there nice all of our other stuff is there so there's a bit of a waiting room off the corridor these will actually should i swap these around people people will be waiting at the stat lab i'm gonna i'm gonna swap these around let's swap them around get rid of these that one and that one okay Just give me the emergency uh stat lab so that's a five by ten like so and a nice big common room over there and that's okay that's going to be quite helpful these guys can go and wait over there so there we go guys that is our starter hospital and this is going to be exactly the same shape for all the other wings and there's going to be a nice big hospital reception over here with a main corridor to all of the departments but this is the access point over here okay so now let's get straight into it so spend a lot of money on what we've done over here so let's quickly start building out our color code for emergency room is going to be i'm just going to go with the black one um okay and to be honest i actually want it to be fairly standard in most areas but anyway that's okay so let's start off by actually let's start off by giving us the external wall and then we'll fill in the internal because we still don't really have the ability to change colors on the sides of the walls that we want so we'll do that and then what we'll do is we will start off by shall i go with red let's start off with red red feels like the er huh? and we'll do that internal nice uh let's drop the walls and now let's start laying these out a little um oh you could actually do that cleaning you know what maybe i should do the cleaning closet in the back b behind this because it's just going to feel a little bit better to have no no i want it there that's better i want the corridors nice and open okay now doctor's offices yeah to be honest it's not it's not great uh so let's grab whatever we grabbed here this one and what we'll do is we'll run we'll run our main wall like that like so and then we'll use that to uh to now we'll go for something a little bit less red in the bottom and we'll start by doing some of this um and we're going to need that and that over there yeah that looks horrid anyway as we go it'll be just be on the outside ultimately so what do we need to start off our our emergency room a waiting room a doctor's office and a restroom that's the three things we're going to need so let's finish off that let's we will fill in as we get money and so on so let's do one, two, three, four bathrooms like so. Um, at the same time, what I'm uh, actually let's me get let me get the walls first, nice and red because you can't do any other color. Like so, that's a pretty good bathroom setup over there. Give me the doors. Nice bathroom in place. Um, I'll just do a standard white door as an access point. Um, the restricted area door over here for the closet. Nice. And now what we'll do is, oh, I still need to fill out a few things. Um, like I want some of these. We'll just do that and a trash bin in the middle with a hand dryer. And we'll do these ones. There we go. So that's the bathroom. Very basic bathroom over there. This one, we are going to want some shelving in there. One, two shelves and some of these. Ah. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Oh, 
Well, if that's the case... Yeah, if I can't actually do... Hang on, is there another way I can do this? Is there... Can I do the shelves on this side and then the... I don't know if, if any of that is actually going to work. If we try this, if we do that for the shelves and we then do... Uh, then that is completely not a... Yeah, so let's put the shelves in the back. Shelves in the back and we'll get one of the cleaning carts and that'll be uh, the start. That's our cleaning closets over there. Let's quickly um, fill out the doctor's office and I'll copy and paste the same setup. Uh, so let's start with the doors. So I'm going to do some of these nice glass doors and I'm going to do something like that for the doors. Um, at the same time, what I'll do, so now let's have a look. So we need a bit of an office area and we need a bit of a, we need a bit of an exam area. So let's start the exam area like so. We will put one of these, we will grab one of those, we will get a desk for the doctor. Something like that. I think that's a good idea. Desk for the doctor, like so. A bit of a PC and a printer. We're going to grab some chairs. Uh, Doc's got to sit on a white chair. And um, patient's going to sit on a, a red chair, is it? Yeah, I think that probably works over there. Something like that. Okay, at the same time, we need a few other things. We're going to grab one of these lights. We're going to grab an eye test up on the wall there. We are, oh, we need some equipment. So let's get ourselves an equipment rack. One and shall we do one of these? Okay. Something like that. That looks sensible. Then we got some of this stuff. We got, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Two of the same. Hang on, back in here. We want that one up there. Um, I also want, what else do I want in here? So that's pretty much all I need. If we, I want kind of want a bookshelf over there and maybe a plant in the corner. That feels like a nice cozy doctor's room. Uh, the other thing that I'm keen on actually getting is maybe see if we can't get a dressing screen or a privacy screen of some sort. Uh, not sure that's actually absolutely required. I just thought it could be so the doctor doesn't seem like the doctor would actually be able to get in That's okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Okay, that's fine now in here We want it fairly central. That's pretty central right there. It's our who's next Our who's next piece and I'm gonna grab these we're gonna do the white chairs Something like that. What we'll do is we will do a few like so as well. And then what we could do is we could grab some of these. Oh, and now these can't go in white. Huh? Anyway, we want a bit of a drinks machine over here and maybe a vending machine. Put the vending machine in the corner over here. Otherwise, we could actually add some more stuff. But anyway, there's plenty. Ah, you know what? Put the vending machine there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these like so. So we can actually squeeze a fair bit of these. So I'll just put them a, f a, bit, of, a bit away from each other. So like two. So if we do that. So if we do something like so. There you go. There we go. That seems like a fairly decent waiting room. We can have... We can have a quite a number of people waiting there. Uh, also, I'm going to have the stat lab get a glass door over there. 
so that I can actually still put yet another pair like that. Yeah, how's that? There we go. I think that's a pretty decent waiting room. Fair amount of room to wait. Ultimately, that one, we can do something new with that. Potentially move that over here somewhere once we expand. Okay, let's get our flooring in place. Um, what I'm going to do with the corridors, I'm going to do that setup I did last time with the corridors. I'm going to do something like that. And I'm going to do the red line down there for the corridor. Yeah. So that's corridor setup. So you know where the corridor is running. Now, in terms of our actual areas over here, our waiting rooms, I'm going to give it a little bit of that stuff here. Yeah? So we can clearly see it's a different setup. Then in the doctor's offices, I'm going to do these, these ones. I can actually run it all the way there and we'll grab some of these tiles um, for these facilities over there. I'm going to grab that again over here. And the common room will have nice and nice wooden flooring over there. And then that ultimately will just be a white flooring like so excellent so that's a bit of a that's the bit of the idea that we've got going out for ourselves um final thing i just want to quickly set up the reception as well so give me the reception uh so reception is going to be straightforward stuff right like that one like so and one like so it's going to be a very basic reception over here with uh yeah let's get our um, actually let's get the red chairs for the reception so we'll put them in place over there. I'm going to grab one of these. So we'll do that as a starting point. Oh, we need a door for this place. Actually, and we need some windows. So what I'll do is I will window it out like that a little bit. We'll get the nice big glass doors over here like so. Actually, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that one and we'll put the two next to each other like so. That's pretty decent. And then I'll just do a bit of a like that, like that, and like that. Bathroom's not going to have any. That can have a tour over there. Same thing here. We'll have two like that. And the x-ray machine is x-ray's not going to have any. So that's kind of the shape that we're going to do. We'll do try and do a similar thing on the other side. So guys, that's it. Huh? That is actually it. I am going to quickly hire the staff. Op why do I not have a restroom? Why is this not a restroom? Something's weird. Is the oh, it's in the wrong department? It's in the wrong department. So, sorry guys. What I'm going to do is we'll go out over here and we'll get rid of those two. And we'll move to this department and we'll add our restroom like that and like that. And we'll add our cleaning closet like so and there you go so now that's filled in okay so let's quickly add our staffing i'm going to add a receptionist you're the only one with a specialty so you're going to be it um, i'm definitely wanting a doctor with advanced diagnostics that's going to be pretty good even though pretty pricey uh, diagnostic genius and uh, moves faster and we don't have any unlikely things so that's the first doctor we are now open so let's open the insurance tab excellent we need to treat 10 patients so what i'll do so we'll start seeing people arrive pretty soon for immediately for today what i'm quickly going to do is i'm going to do the stat lab as well um, because we're going to need to do that asap so let me grab that piece and we'll do something like this on the inside over there, StatLab has a door. So let's quickly have a look. StatLab is in need of some of these things. I'm going to try and make it uh, reasonably sized. Yeah, actually that works pretty well. So we'll be able to squeeze a lot of stuff in there. Um, so let's start by getting one, two pieces over there. We'll add a printer on the one of them. The other, the other side, we'll just add... Um, well, I'm going to put the glassware up the front here because we're going to need some of this stuff right here. Uh, do we need other equipment? We need the samples piece. We need one of these things. 
and we'll put a sink there in the corner nice we are going to have our biohazard thing there in the corner over there we've already got a pc which is all we're going to do is grab some stools okay put some stools next to the pcs over there then we need to grab the rest of this kind of equipment let's grab some equipment over there microscope over here um let's put that ria over there put the lab analyzer in here and one thing like that and another like so that means we can put actually we can put plenty more guys in here um, is there anything else we want to put in here we don't need equipment cabinets or anything like that or does it help us at all i have no idea but what we could do is we could definitely add like a potted plant or something in here so we'll do a bit of a potted plant like that we'll put a clock um, up somewhere up above that machine right there and that's going to be our stat lab so i'll immediately grab someone to work there and we can actually you know what let's just put the pcs in there straight away it's not that expensive grab two more pcs plop it in there and in there we grab the stools one there and one there and so now there's at least place for four of these guys that should be pretty good so let's uh, get someone to start working here someone with biochemistry we don't need the most expensive that one is actually pretty good but he's a night owl whether we want to get a night owl to work in the day i don't know i'd rather go with this one okay so straight away we can start accommodating stuff in the stat lab okay so let's open up uh, actually, we'll open up in the next episode. So guys, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to plan this thing out much better this time around. Uh, that looks horrible. Oh, actually, the whole thing will change. It's, it's just the side that's going to look like that. Okay, um, so the whole thing is looking pretty good now. Um, and I will open up in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to plan it much better. Um, as this is kind of a new series, please uh, hit that like button if you enjoy this kind of thing. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.